Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for October 26, 2021. Well, my goodness, guys, I, I got to tell you, I don't know what to say um, at this point um, in the market. Um, we have a truly gravity defying rally going on that really does not seem to have any signs of stopping and it it um, actually kind of begs the trader to just close your eyes plug your nose and just buy something with the fear of missing out however when we take a look at some of the charts some of the technicals of the charts it shows us that there is incredible danger in doing that so how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's take a look at these charts and see if we can get an idea how we might want to approach the market today on the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I got to tell you, um, I am I'm astounded by this pushback up when you consider the issues out there that this market faces we have a fed taper on the way um we had jerome whoops we had jerome powell coming out here just um just the other day suggesting that there could be two interest rate increases next year we have um inflation we have energy prices that are obviously part of inflation that are zooming higher we have massive supply chain impacts that news was out yesterday that they expect that to uh, go all the way into um, 2022 we have pe ratios on stocks that are at unbelievable levels market internals don't seem to matter and chart technicals at the at the moment don't seem to matter um, when I say that let's take a look here if we take a look look how far we've moved off of this 50-day moving average without a single hesitation um, in this market it shows us this absolutely ravenous desire to buy up risk and it also shows us if we're willing to look at the potential risk should we happen to stumble along the way so i want to caution everyone be really really careful as a matter of fact this is starting to give me earmarks of that 1999 blow off top where we just kind of ignored everything it was just rush in to buy something now these kind of moves create some significant danger just just kind of keep in mind that when we run up this hard the pullbacks can be extremely painful. So if you're running in at the late stages of this rally, you could be very, very disappointed when we stumble in the market on this quick run. Now that said, we're setting up this morning for new record highs in the Dow this morning, pushing right on through as if it wasn't even there. And we continue to run into stocks that are heading into their earnings reports. Um, um, big tech stocks making new record highs, new highs in their, in their prices as they approach earnings there seems to be no no hesitation on the appetite for risk in this market be very very careful because these kind of markets set up pretty nasty overnight reversals and potential intraday whipsaws so watch that carefully remember oftentimes i'm warning for that possibility as we gap up into a new um, high that can sometimes signal um, a good selling opportunity and that possibility that we turn lower than on the day not saying that's going to be the case but just kind of consider that carefully we are very very extended in the short term on this market but that doesn't mean we can't continue to extend so continue to watch this carefully and and trade wisely as we continue this push to the upside same thing is true if we look at the spy it's just really defying gravity here um, pushing up we're looking at a 10-day winning streak in here um, moving up and gapping to new record highs this morning and remember it was a gap up to new record highs fueled by facebook missing on its earnings revenue but promising a great big stock buyback so <laughs> 
you know, go figure. But there we have it. Um, nothing seems to matter anymore. Just hurry up and buy something. And watch that closely as we continue to extend. Now, just keep in mind, a pullback into here wouldn't be all that painful if we pulled back to that support. If we pulled back into here, obviously, these these support levels would be extremely painful if we pull back and just keep in mind that we have some big open gaps in here that could still be filled so watch carefully for that we take a look at the cues now the cues have actually been a little bit more behaved here than the rest of the market and noticing that we actually put in a few days of a consolidation in here and i think that actually improves the nasdaq chart here quite a bit however with all of the big tech reports coming out there still is a significant risk here in this chart now keep in mind that we could pop up like this and then still pull back and continue to build out this consolidation um, uh, and contact that trend so watch that carefully and let's also keep in mind we do have price resistance right across the chart right in these levels here so just keep that in mind as we continue to try and chug higher here in the qqq but this has been actually a more behaved chart than what we're seeing in the spy and the diamonds let's take a look at iwm now iwm finally broke through that resistance of this downtrend and that was fueled up by just energy prices continuing to surge higher and of course we're seeing financials um, looking greatly improved so as we break this trend this um, downtrend in the chart now the next test is to make sure that we can prove that we can hold this as support notice this is a pre-market candle here this morning that we're showing here so we're popping up here in that chart um, uh, but we could still have that pullback to test and prove this level of support we've been running in this wedge but now we're breaking the top side so prove it can hold and then we look for some more upside in that chart now keep in mind we still have a year's worth of price congestion in this area that could still stop this from moving higher so watch that carefully and you got just have to wonder um, how how much further can we extend these energy prices and not be worried about inflation at all as that just continues to race higher and higher and higher looking for another gap up this morning here in energy so um, high flying stocks moving fast here on the day let's take a look at um, our VIX our VIX little bit of back and forth yesterday where we popped up initially we were showing just a little teeny tiny fear in there and then ended up pulling back now this puts in a pattern that I call a um, Oreo cookie pattern now we don't really have the white filling in here like I like to see um, on those Oreo cookies but what an Oreo cookie pattern would suggest is more lows are coming in the VIX now that would be kind of play right into the fact that we're gapping up this morning in that possibility that we could move lower here in the VIX as fear continues to drop out of the market and I think that complacency really starting to set in in a big way here so watch that carefully but that said we continue to move in this downtrend pretty sharp downtrend we could test these lows down here that we've seen down here uh, first thing this morning so watch that carefully bulls are definitely in control and they are ravenous bunch they just can't wait to buy something let's take a look at the um um, at the T2122 indicator. Now, T2122, I get lots of questions about this, but T2122 is really a simple indicator. It's the four week new high, new low ratio. It's plotted between 100 and zero. And as you can see, every time we reach up into this upside region, we find um, that pullback coming in the market. Every time we're down here in this lower area, we find that reason to rally. So notice here, we are. Are in that bearish reversal zone we slipped just a little bit yesterday on that little bit of a pullback so we do have some upside opportunity and we're probably going to gap right up into here this morning with this gap up very very close to that 100 level I'm guessing so watch that carefully as we pop up into there that suggests there's not a whole lot of room up there everybody that was going to get in is in 
and then we see that possibility of a pullback and that's where I suggest that we could see that gap up open and see nothing but selling coming in after that point and have that that pop and drop pattern occur not saying that's going to happen but we do have that potential here and remember we do have a lot of big earnings this week or today that we could end up after this gap up open just kind of pausing and doing nothing as we wait for those big earnings reports let's take a look at um our T2107. Now T2107 continued to show improvement yesterday and I got to give that to the bulls. That is a good sign. We need to see these stocks that have been so oversold coming back up. Notice we're about 48% of our stocks are now above the 200 day moving average. So that is a pretty dramatic improvement here that we've seen. We've held this price support. So if these can continue to rally, that will help levitate that market just a little bit and help us stay up. So watch closely on that. In T2101, notice here we had a little bit of a surge yesterday. So we saw that surge coming into um, T2101 to the upside. Now that showed just a little bit of bearishness in there. We had that little bit of um, selling that we saw in stocks. But watch that closely as we push up toward that that downtrending move we're showing lots of momentum in this move at the moment in t2101 let's take a look at our economic calendar for today well we better take a look at earnings first um and well here let's do the economic calendar because i've got it right here in hand the economic calendar has a couple things today that we'll want to pay attention to let's notice right in here that we have um uh, this morning new home sales that'll be important here this morning um, we've seen uh, mortgage applications had a sharp sharp decline last week that could start playing into these new home sales today so let's watch that close at 10 o'clock um, and there's some other news out there we're starting to see that increasing number of foreclosures beginning to happen so watch that closely and then we have consumer confidence coming in at 10 that could be an important number um, this week so watch that closely if if inflation really starts to pinch the consumer we could see that confidence um, starting to slip just a little bit right there so watch that close case shiller is also out on that home price index keep in mind as you're planning forward there's some big number here coming in uh, tomorrow morning durable goods orders we'll want to keep a close eye on that you'll be thinking about that carefully as you plan your risk into wednesday morning let's take a look at our earnings now i got to tell you guys i don't have enough time to cover uh, much of anything this morning in these earnings reports just know that we've got a bunch of earnings reports and you can get the full list of notables if you click that link just below the title of the video take you back to the blog for that full list of notables um, i'm going to put um, amd amd will be reporting here today we're going to hear from google um, after the bell today big big hitter obviously in the market uh, Twitter will be reporting today and we're also going to hear from Microsoft so keep that in mind all of these um, um, charts will be um, in play today and there are a ton of other stocks to be paying attention to so keep a real close eye on that watch this very very closely and carefully there could be a lot of moving around here in this market. Now let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be useful, please do me a favor, click that um, thumbs up button leave a brief comment it helps us continue to grow the channel and I just want to say thank you to everyone I truly appreciate it and also if you share that video out there that helps us as well um, helps helps those videos be shown to more folks and I I would truly appreciate that also um, I, I want to give a big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel with buy me a coffee and I've been kind of giving you clues and hints and stuff about what's coming um, there's I, I'm looking for some um, substantial improvements in the channel 
and um, doing more live content and things like that. And you guys are helping to support that. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome and you are the best. Now, let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to make sure and do your own due diligence on these charts and uh, make sure you understand the risk of every trade. You should never ever blindly follow someone else's trade idea. You need to know the why of each and every trade. Let's take a look at a couple of these positions out here that are interesting. Take a look at Alcoa. Now I've mentioned this one before and I mentioned the idea that Alcoa could be trying to find a little price support here in the chart. Notice we popped up a bit yesterday. We're trying to hold in here. So let's keep a close eye on that. If that can hold up, we have that opportunity that that could start moving on up. And the reason I suggest that metals as a whole really seem to be moving up. Take a look at FCX. FCX had a nice move yesterday to the upside, something I've been talking about. Now we do have to consider price resistance in this chart as well as we push up. But notice we're trying to break through that, looking pretty good. We do have some other resistance in here, but FCX looking pretty good in this chart and showing quite a little bit of bullishness. So keep a close eye on that. Take a look at steel. Um, Steel Dynamics, big move yesterday, big old pop here in this chart. Um, moving up strongly here again, there's that tried and true pattern that I talked about. We break that downtrend and we start holding those higher lows. And there we go, moving to the upside, very profitable trade pattern. If you haven't seen the video, I'd suggest you go take a look at that. But very, very strong here um, in STLD. Take a look at Cliff, Cleveland Cliffs. Oh my goodness. Um, rocket shot. Um, don't chase a, a trade like this. This is um, a, honestly a ridiculous move and it's really a sign of the times in the in our market where we see something moving and everybody just piles on and chases. Now that creates an awful lot of danger in a trade and watch watch for the next potential entry, a little rest, a little consolidation. That would set up a next entry into that chart that could be pretty good. Take a look at, you know, you could go to MT. MT is a nice looking chart. Breaking the downtrend right here, there's that, oops, my system just decided to change the tool on me. Give me just a second and you can see there's that downtrend break and hold of support. There's that tried and true pattern. Now keep in mind, we do have price resistance in here that we have to consider, but this is a nice looking chart showing bullishness and we're seeing steel come around pretty nicely. Now other metals, take a look at silver guys. Silver is really showing some signs of bullishness here, pushing through some resistance levels in the chart, showing some strength holding up. We have a nice upside trend going on here in this chart. Now, it may not be quite ready for prime time yet. We may have to consolidate and work this out just a little bit more in here on silver, but keep a close eye on that, seeing silver moving higher here recently and showing some really good signs. And honestly, a nice little rounded bottom breakout pattern here where we're breaking above our 50 day and a little bit of rest and we may actually seek out that 200 day in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. Even gold making some moves here, trying to push to the upside. Now this is not ready just yet. Um, trying to break that downtrend here in the chart. We are showing that little bit of bullishness and let's keep in mind that our technicals here are not as clean and clear. Notice our 50 underneath the 200, not a good sign. But if this were to rest or consolidate in here and hold a higher low, then we might have something to work with um, in gold. So keep a close eye on that. Now let's take a look at some other areas of uh, the market. Take a look at Ford. Now Ford rallied up really, really strongly. This has just been a meteor meteorite um, moving to the upside here, as you can see, um, pushing through some resistance in the chart and now we pulled back. So let's watch and see on this pullback if it holds some price support. If we can deal with this price resistance level in here, hold some price support and then fire back up to the upside, maybe some opportunity there in Ford. Take a look at um, some of the cannabis stocks, um, AC, ACB. 
ACB has made that push. Notice we have a really nice looking inverted head and shoulders pattern that's forming here on this chart with the neckline of that pattern right up through here. And we're struggling with that neckline at the moment pulling back. But if we can continue to hold this support level right in here, watch for that opportunity. We had a little bullishness coming in yesterday. If we can follow through that bullishness here to the upside, watch for that opportunity right in here if that can start perking on up. You might want to take a look at General Motors, GM. General Motors putting in a nice little pattern here, nice little rest in this chart. Notice that we're moving up here in this pattern, holding some support levels. I would watch this to see if we can catch that next entry into General Motors to the upside. Good looking chart overall. We have lots of retail that has just been moving, um, uh, well, uh, kind of surprisingly strong. Um, take a look at Crocs. Crocs been moving up here. We're approaching resistance highs. I'd wait on a chart like this. We've had Lulu moving up once again, moving up sharply here, running into some price resistance. I'd wait on that chart. But let's take a look at stocks like um, UAA, UAA trying to break down trends, coming up out of bottoms, trying to show some bullishness here. Watch a chart like that. Take a look at Kohl's. Kohl's trying to come up out of a bottom. Look at this little inverted head and shoulders pattern that has formed here and that possibility that we may be breaking through this area right here and a nice gap that could be filled to the upside. Still has some downtrend it has to deal with, but that gap fill certainly looks possible in that chart. So a lot of retail. Take a look at Starbucks. Starbucks had a little bit of a pullback yesterday, intraday, and then powered right back up to the upside. So let's watch that in here as we're trying to break through these resistance levels. Now still keep in mind, there is some downtrend here that we're trying to deal with. But if we rest out in, in here and pop on through, it may be just the opportunity that you're looking for into a chart like that. So there's quite a few stocks and there are a lot more right now to potentially uh, be evaluating. But um, hopefully that gives you a start for today. So hey everyone, I want to wish you all the best. I want to wish you great success in your trading. I'll see you right back here, bright and early, Wednesday morning. Have a great day everyone.